Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man. Have you had bad reception recently, especially since the beginning of the summer? There's something affecting nearly everyone's TV reception, including mine. What exactly is causing the issue? Stay tuned to find out. If you're seeing me for the first time, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. So there's something going on that's causing people to experience reception problems on what are usually reliable local TV stations. Many times, people are quick to blame their antenna, which may be the problem in some situations, but there's something else that causes reception problems for people nationwide in the summer months. It has to do with certain atmospheric conditions like Tropo and E-Skip. You see, normally, TV stations will disappear about 70 to 100 miles over the horizon due to the curvature of the Earth. This makes it so that TV stations in different markets can broadcast their signal on one of the 35 available channels for TV licensed by the FCC without interfering with other TV stations. However, during Tropo and E-Skip, TV signals will travel hundreds or even thousands of miles. This can be pretty cool because for a few hours you're able to pick up very far away TV stations that normally would not come in. The problem is when distant channels on the same frequencies of your local channels start to overpower your local channels. In the analog days, you would just see some lines and shifting pictures when two TV stations on the same frequency were interfering with each other. However, in the digital era, two TV stations on the same RF channel will sort of cancel each other out and you'll get nothing except a jumbled mess of pixels or maybe the no signal message. If you're confused by what I'm saying frequencies, co-channels, let me simplify it for you. Say you live in New Jersey and pick up WPIX, which broadcasts on VHF channel 11. Normally it comes in fine, but during tropical conditions, another channel 11 from Eastern Pennsylvania, let's say WBRE, starts to be picked up by your antenna. The two signals will cancel out and you'll receive nothing but a jumbled mess of pixels until the atmospheric conditions go back to normal in a few hours. These tropo relayed reception problems have been made much worse by the FCC repack. After they sold UHF channels 38 through 52 to cell phone companies, TV stations were packed very tight on the remaining channels. As a result, many TV stations were very short spaced, making co-channel interference from tropo events much more common. Here's an example of two very short spaced TV stations, WCBS in New York City and WFSB in Hartford, Connecticut. Both broadcast on RF channel 36. Even during very minor atmospheric enhancement, people who live between the two stations, maybe in Southern Connecticut or somewhere north of New York City, may lose their local CBS affiliate. Some of you have heard me say many times that the FCC repack created a huge mess for TV broadcasters and over the air viewers. This is a part of that mess. When you sell one third of the TV band to cell phone companies, there are unintended consequences. In this case, local channels that are normally reliable get canceled out by distant channels during Tropo because the FCC packed the TV band way too tight. The good news is that Tropo and E-Skip don't happen all the time. Reception problems related to them should only last a few hours, maybe two or three times a month in the summer, depending on your location. You can usually tell if your reception problems are related to Tropo or E-Skip if an otherwise reliable TV station no longer comes in for a few hours on a cloudy, humid day, but then it's perfectly fine after the fact. What's ironic is I became a victim of this myself. You see, last night, one TV station that normally comes in fine had major breakup. Like some of you, I blamed it on my temporary antenna setup in the attic, assuming that something was off with the position of the antenna or the coax cable. Sure enough, when I ran a channel scan, I started picking up a few out-of-market TV stations that normally would not come in. The reception problems went away this morning, along with the distant TV stations because the atmospheric conditions went back to normal. Now, if you experience reception problems on the same channels every night, the issue probably isn't related to Tropo. You may need a better antenna setup. Consider an antenna recommendation from me on my website at antennamanpa.com. I run a reception report at your location, take a look at the frequencies and signal strengths, determine what antenna will work best for you based on my experience testing out nearly 50 antenna models, installing them in four TV markets. If you're curious to learn more about Tropo, E-Skip, and the DXing hobby, I attach a few links in the description of this video. There's a Facebook group of DXers sharing their captures. Some were able to pick up TV stations all the way from Cuba and Panama. 
There's also a great website that shows a daily map of tropical conditions update every day to give you an idea on when these events will occur. In case you want to see if your reception problems are related to Trapo, or if you want to see if you can pick up a very far away TV station. Thanks again for watching this YouTube video. A huge thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord and you'd like to support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antennaman or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antennamanpa. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates on when I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attach a link in the description of this video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.